Kiswahili. Now moving on, Azimio Coalition is calling for the ouster of the Kenya Kwanzaa government and is pushing for uh, President Ruto to um, desist, I mean, from um, to maybe um, rather just to sh come down from his uh, position. Now take a look at this report. A section of prominent leaders allied to the Azimio La Umoja coalition led by Waipo Party leader Kalonzo Musoka have commended the youthful protesters for their continued protest against the ruling government and urged them to soldier on. This Abbasaba Day, we remember them. We say their lives, they did not fall in vain. Their lives will be, ah, how do we put it? They say they will try to compensate pay, but the agencies are so amazing. The leaders who toured Mero County to commemorate Sabah Saba Day say that the Azimio coalition fully supported the Gen Z protesters who have been staging countrywide demonstrations against the Kenya Kwanzaa government and the National Assembly who they blame for economic difficulties and other problems. These young Gen Z's, 41 of them, are heroes just like the freedom fighters of our first liberation who got the colonial government out of place. Freedom fighters of the second liberation who went on Sabah Sabah Day and got the Nyayo system out. This demand for an account of government will continue. Na sisi tunaunga mkono, jensina tuko pamoja na wao. Further, the leaders called for the reconstitution of the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission, IEBC, to pave the way for a snap election so that Kenyans can elect a new government. IEBC uh, Amendment Bill 2024, which William Ruto has promised to sign into law. We say that this should be done expeditiously on this Abbasaba day so that we can have the process get underway of coming up as soon as possible with a new IEBC. According to Kalonzo, a fully constituted electoral agency is necessary at this point in time when a section of Kenyans are muddling over recalling their members of parliament. A point the former vice president says is reason enough for President William Ruto to sign into law the IEBC Amendment Bill 2024. Country right now is at a crossroads. This is not uh, a thing that we think should be delayed for even one extra day. Na tunashukuru vijana wetu ambao maragina tulifikiria awaoni shinda zile siko wameamuka zaidi yetu. At the same time, Azimio demanded the resignation of President William Ruto in solidarity with the young Kenyan protesters. Today we hear these young heroes saying Ruto must go and Ruto will go. We have no doubt about that. It's a matter of time. We say that people, men and women um, who have responsibility over these deaths still, and we know them, we have called for their res resignation and the responsibility begins from the very top. Chichi, Josephine TV, 47.